guys, my hair is kind of messed. But I just finished talking about vegetarians. I gotta find something that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. But but as as I stress in that, when you have so many vegetables, you have so many fruits, you have so many carbohydrates. It, 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 it's really going to be affecting your blood glucose level. If it's too high or too low, if it's corrupted, if it can actually get stabilized, if you're getting a corrupted amount of carbohydrates and you're not fixing it, it's not going to be stabilized. So the hormone insulin, it cannot be made in the pancreas. It cannot form the, the pancreas. It cannot be produced in the pancreas to regulate blood glucose level. It's a job. And along with glucogen, glucogen to regulate a blood glucose level. If that doesn't happen, then we have to rely on unnatural, artificial ways to get insulin and insulin shots to just stabilize stabilize our blood glucose level so it doesn't spiral out of control, get too low or too high. So anyways, be, be vegetarians, it's not the it's not the healthiest way, as I stressed. The healthiest way is to have a balance. That's just all the time. Is to have a balance. If you have a balance, you're going to have more nourishment. You have a balance of protein, carbohydrates, amino acids, omega 3 fats, monounsaturated fats, a balance of micronutrients in the smallest form supplementation form, pill form of macronutrients, you need to have a balance there with the micronutrients, micro minerals, I get too many minerals and not getting too many vitamins. It's it's it's, it's all a balance. What to realize that that our body it, it has requirements, but it also needs balance. We find we find results in balance. We find contemptness, contemptness in balance, we can be, we can be happy, we can be glad to know that our body it, it, it needs balance, nourishment needs to be balanced, nutrition needs to be balanced too, all of that, and, and many vegetarians, even, even not that, so many, so many vegetables, so, so many fruits, and so many options, they think that just because you're a vegetarian, you can avoid you can avoid LDL, you can avoid narrowed arteries, you can avoid cardiovascular diseases, deaths, premature death, dying at any time. You do not know. Early. You can prevent diabetes, low to high blood sugar. You can prevent being a pre-diabetic or even being a diabetic. Even not that, having LDL narrowed arteries, and there's so much unnatural, unneeded cholesterol, and there's so much there's a little bit of natural cholesterol, and it's compacting on the liver. L the liver does not know what to do, so ultimately fails. You have premature death because it's, it's it's early, and you're not doing anything to stop it. You're not doing anything to stop it. And the foods that they're eating is that they can still be just because. Guess what? We can find saturated fats. We can find oleic acids. We can find fats and all these sorts of foods. We can find them in poultry. We can find them in cheese. Find them, in nuts. We find them in nuts. We can find them in oil. So even the nuts, the omega-3 fatty acids is, is, is that we talk about. You, you can still have an imbalance. You can be eating too many nuts. You can be eating, digesting too much oil. And the, the thing about that is that it, it's a wide variety. It, it's not just meat. It's not just poultry. It's cheese. It, it, it's dairy. It's nuts. It's oils. It, it's grains that you're going to be finding. That's in too. You know that even things like oats, avocados from Mexico. Also, honey. You're gonna be looking at tuna. You're gonna be looking at eggs, peanut butter, natural peanut butter that you can find a good source of fats in. You can find them in again grains. You can find them in oats, whole wheat products. You can find them in too. You can find them in, in all these. And all these foods, and it, it, it has a pattern at itself. It has a pattern, so you can kind of see the pattern, and you can know what to do. So I, I just wanted to get that across in this video. That vegetarian, being a vegetarian, being a vegan, it's, it's not the best thing. Too many micronutrients, too many carbohydrates. It's going to make it hard to avoid become to having low blood sugar, to high blood sugar, stabilizing your blood glucose level because you simply can't. Insulin's not helping. Glucagon's not helping. Hey, glucagon can only help it to the point. But insulin, the main hormone that regulates blood glucose level, that has made the pancreas, it, it's more important than glucagon. It has more purpose than glucagon. And I, again, as, as I was saying, I just want to get that point across. But 
I, I was watching on Rosie, and as I said, it, it was a lot of stuff. Vegetarians, yeah, the healthiest. I know a vegetarian at my school, and he eats chocolate, he eats, he eats almonds, he eats foods that are high sources of nuts because you don't have that protein. You don't have that wide variety of protein that we can find in meats. And when we don't have the meats to fill it up, we're going to be eating too much of one thing. Too much of something can make you unhealthy. Too much of something up to a point can make you unhealthy as I stress. I brine sick of fitness as I stress every day. And I'm going to pick my gloves. Let's make sure my gloves don't get lost or whatever. But as I was talking about, being vegetarian, being a vegan, it's not the healthiest thing. It's not the healthiest thing for balance. If you want good nourishment, you want nourishment up to a point, hell yeah, then you're going you're gonna to go with being a veganism or going to vegetarian because they tell you, yeah, you can hurt the animals. You can't hurt my animals. Don't hurt my animals. You know, I remember the time when we had animal crackers. That was all animals. We had those animal crackers, and it was like running. It was like running. We had those animal crackers, and we eat animal crackers. If you eat animal crackers, are you a carnivore? Are you a carnivore if you eat animal crackers? God, it's too much in a day of blowing my mind. If animal crackers are actually considered, if they're actually considered animals, and if you eat animal crackers, you're eating animals, and you're killing the wildlife, you're killing the life that we were supposed to protect by God, when he only says that, it's a sin to eat pig, he says it's okay to eat everything else, because pig is widely connected to Jews, okay, getting away from that fact, uh, getting away from that point, for a minute, guys, sorry, it, it was just, if I can, if I can be funny in a way, if I can find some humor in a way, if I can add humor to my video, I'm gonna add humor to my video. But again, vegetarians, it, it's not healthy for imbalance of carbohydrates, even at that, finding it in fruits, finding it in vegetables, vegetables most, because supplementation, when we, when we look at supplementations, they're going to be having carbohydrates too, carbohydrate overload, a corrupted amount of carbohydrates, a high carbohydrate intake to make it really hard for a blood glucose level to be regulated by the hormone insulin to be regulated by the hormone glucogen. So besides that, vegetarians, what do I say? I say eat meat. Good source of selenium. You cannot find selenium as high in meat as you can. You can find it again in things like you can find them in vegetables. You can find them in the main one, spinach. But the thing is, is that that's really the only one that has enough of it to make sure that you get a vitamin, your macro mineral balance. You get a vitamin balance, essential vitamin balance. Even at that, as I talk about all the time on this channel, it's about a balance. It's about finding a balance. It's about keeping that balance for the rest of your life, for the rest of this diet, that rest of this life lifestyle choice that you're going on. And these vegetarians, they're cutting off meat. Is that the thing is, is that selenium is highest found in meat. And the th <laughs> it's found in turkey, it's found in ham, it's found in chicken, it's found in beef, it's found in steak, it's found in yellowfin tuna, it's found in all these things. We really don't limit this. We limit uh, the antioxidant enzymes that are being made, protein, to, again, in protein synthesis, and adjusting catabolism, the breaking down of food to release energy, requiring energy for metabolism to grow, to make metabolism and growth through production and development of muscle fibers to move from complex, small to large. We talk about biosynthesis. We talk about requiring the energy, requiring the energy, so the blood, the blood vessels requires the energy to supply the oxygen to the muscles that the, and the cells, muscle tissue, and the cells that they need, they need the oxygen, or they're going to de deteriorate. And we don't, we do not want that to happen. We want our cells to be happy. We want our muscle tissue to be health, to be healthy, just like this guy right here, healthiest one you ever know, guys. The truest guy. I'll never be fake in my channel. I'll never ever be fake. I'll never pretend to be somebody else. It's not something that I want to do. It. It's not something I plan doing ever in my life. And yeah, I just, I just wanted to talk about vegetarians, I want to talk about vegans. And there's so much imbalance in being a vegetarian and being a vegan. Rely on supplementations for everything. You're not going to be getting enough macronutrients to function for full functionality. For full... Oh yeah, I was, uh, I was finding Bigfoot in the woods later, uh, before guys. Sorry. But again, it, it's not good because of the carbohydrates. 
not good for the imbalance it gives you a limited this limited nourishment found in being a vegetarian you don't have antioxidant enzymes you don't have these vitamins these minerals that your body needs not enough of is that you can't find selenium in a lot of things and the thing is you're, you're cutting it off you're not having a higher supply because the highest supply of it is in meat i can tell you right now it's in meat spinach is in vegetables selenium as we look at it and just telling you just telling you that right there guys is it i, I want to stress my point and i'm not yelling usually so i mean it, it's a change i used to yell in my videos i'd be like oh bro let's take a fitness here today and today we're going to talk about phytonutrients phytochemicals we're going to be talking about how to lower blood sugar we're going to be talking about how to lower cholesterol cholesterol as we talk about it so you know that that that's my main point. Being a vegetarian, this is a three-part video. I didn't I didn't mean for it to be a three-part video, but yeah, vegetarian it, 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 it's not the best thing. And you you're still open for liver failure if you have so much sugar. You have so many carbohydrates, a corrupted amount of carbohydrate intake, a high carbohydrate intake that your body is not used to, and that usually when you're keeping the carbohydrates off, you're gonna be obese. You're gonna have little circulation at all when there's no blood vessels. All I wanna say is that they don't really care about oh, that's, that's, Okay, uh, sorry, that was a that was a short Michael Jackson right there. Uh, <laughs> a a anyways, a a as I was saying, is that no blood circulation, the blood vessels they're not supplying the oxygen to the muscle, the muscle tissue and the cells that they need before they te deteriorate, before they break down, and you lose those cells, you lose that muscle tissue. That could possibly be formed and you go back into muscular atrophy when muscle muscular mass is lost when we talk about that and this is the end of the video for today i'll do a couple more videos for you guys bye guys brian circuit finished out